Welcome or welcome back everyone to MedEl Mondays, our newest event that occurs every Monday for newly implanted recipients. We aim to cover a variety of topics that matter most to you as you get used to your new hearing device. These modules occur every Monday and this Monday we are covering oral rehabilitation. Specifically, what it is, why it's important, and how you can go about doing it. Medal's mission is to overcome hearing loss as a barrier to communication and quality of life. This could not be accomplished without an amazing team that provides support directly to our recipients. Let's get started and speak about our amazing customer service department. They are here for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In order to connect with our customer service department, you can call our main contact number at 1-888-633-3524. One of our wonderful Medell front desk representatives will answer the phone and direct you to the correct department. We recommend you save this phone number on your phone. This is our main line that you can call and reach all of our departments, and it's the only number you need to remember. We also have bilingual representatives that speak Spanish. Once you become a Medal recipient, you can join our amazing Hear Peers community. Our Hear Peers community is a group of vibrant Medal users who share experiences on living with Medal technology and connect with others about their hearing journey. You want to sign up as a member to receive newsletters, updates on new technology, promotions, discounts, and you will be the first to receive product updates and new events being offered. Visit hearpeers.us to sign up today. It takes less than five minutes. Now let's quickly review the live support resources available to you as much as you need them. At Medell, we have various departments. One of our main support services is our customer support team. Our customer service team is available to aid with warranty questions, filling out forms, processing orders for replacement equipment parts, and much more. Our reimbursement department offers assistance with insurance questions, coverage, reordering of parts that are approved by your insurance, and more. Our amazing audiology on-call team are experienced audiologists readily available for you to help troubleshoot your equipment, check what may not be working, answer specific technical questions and inquiries. This immediate service is available for you 24 hours a day and 365 days a year. As a reminder, our consumer engagement and rehabilitation team is here to connect you with other families provide virtual and in-person recipient events, and much more. Do not forget to sign up for Hear Peers and visit our website at www.medelevents.com to register for any of our upcoming events. All our other departments can be contacted by contacting our main line, 1-888-633-3524. And within the organization, we have an entire team who runs a rehabilitation support program. Our mission is to provide a comprehensive set of resources and events to help you make the most of your device. For tonight, if you haven't already, you will need a paper and pen. Go ahead and grab yourself a pen or pencil and a notebook or piece of paper. By the end of this session on oral rehabilitation, we aim to help you answer, what is oral rehabilitation? Why is it important? And how do I go about doing it? Well, let's just dive right in with what is oral rehabilitation. Oral rehabilitation is a set of activities aimed at decreasing hearing difficulties and increasing ease of communication. What are hearing-related difficulties, you ask? Well, 
Hearing-related difficulties can be described as the challenges you face in your daily activities where you need to communicate with others, such as hearing your family at home while playing games, making dinner, having dinner, or going to a restaurant, talking in a car, listening to instruction in a classroom, talking on the phone, or attending social events. Getting the implant is the first step to reducing your hearing-related difficulties, and the next step will be to increase the ease with which you communicate in some or all of these situations. By ease of communication, we mean, well, the ease at which conversation flows in different environments. In this example, where one person says, remember the Carol Burnett show? And the other person says, oh yeah, that sure was funny. This demonstrates a certain ease while having a conversation. As opposed to this conversation, where communication is not so easy. So, oral rehabilitation is a set of activities aimed at decreasing hearing-related difficulties and increasing ease of communication. And these activities consist of four things, making your audiology appointments, taking ownership of your devices, practicing listening, and learning tips and tricks. Some of you may be asking, is this necessary? Well, yes, it is necessary. And this is because after your activation, your brain is hearing an electrical signal for the first time and needs training to understand this new signal. Think of it as equivalent to physical therapy, like when you pull a muscle or have a surgery and need rehabilitation to rebuild what was lost. In the same way, your listening sense was impaired before your implant, and you now have an opportunity to build up what was missing. This too will require some rehabilitation. The time it will take for you to rehabilitate your ear will be individualized based on a few things. Your hearing loss history, the amount of time you wear your implant, and your lifestyle, meaning how motivated you are to communicate with others and the access you have to communicating with them. But no matter what your individual situation may be, we know oral rehabilitation will help you in your own way and over time get full benefit of your technology faster, reduce your listening effort, and increase your listening confidence. Now let's get into how you can go about doing oral rehabilitation, starting with making your audiology appointments. By making your audiology appointments, we mean attending every mapping session your audiologist recommends at the best of your ability. This is important because in order to find your best map or program for your listening, your audiologist needs to find your most comfortable level with the electrical current sent through the implant. It's a little more challenging with a child who can't report loudness. But if your child or you can report on loudness, it's helpful to tell your audiologist when the stimulation reaches your most comfortable loudness level. Some additional things you can do to help your audiologist are to keep a journal and share your experiences with them. This is an ongoing relationship and they rely on your feedback to make the best program for your ears. And Medel has two great tools that you can use to document your observations and experience. The Little Ears Diary is designed to assist parents in gathering information about early development. And the Hearing Implant Sound Quality Index is a questionnaire used to determine a teenager's or adult's sound quality with their hearing implants in daily life. These are available on our Medal website, and we're going to send you these resources in a separate email after this presentation. Once you fill them out, you can also reach out to your engagement manager or therapist or audiologist to discuss your observations and the results of your questionnaire. Let's now move to taking ownership of your device. By taking ownership of your device, 
We mean that we want you to become independent with your equipment and all of its features so you can make the most of living with your hearing device. You have many opportunities to do this both at your cochlear implant center and with Medell. You can accomplish this task by attending our Medell Mondays as often as you need. As you know, we have after activation basics and courses on how to use your accessories, as well as tonight's course on oral rehabilitation. You can also view our YouTube instructional videos. You can go to youtube.com and search Medel. Be sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a new video. You can also contact our audiology on call department at 1-888-medel-ci. Additionally, you can also go to the Hear Peer Forum and pose your questions to other Medel recipients at forum.hearpeers.com. Once you are in the Hear Peers Forum, click on Clubs, then join the USA Canada Club. So, Manel provides lots of opportunities for you to take ownership of your device, and we are here for your questions and support as much as you need us. Let's now talk about practicing listening. The purpose of listening practice is to help the brain understand the electrical signal it's receiving from the cochlear implant faster than it normally would without listening practice. When you have You're going to put milk in the chocolate. Throughout your waking hours, in your hearing language, your brain is making connections. You're staring at it slowly. The more connections you have, the more your brain lights up fast, and fast, 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 fast. sense of your new hearing. You can practice listening on your own, anywhere on your time, or just at home. You can also practice with a partner during shared reading experiences, while playing with your child, or while participating in structured and daily activities. You can practice listening while directly connecting to a sound source through Bluetooth accessories or through accessories that can be hardwired to the sound source. You can also practice listening near a partner, like a speech therapist or a family member or friend, or a nearby sound source like a computer, phone, or tablet. Let's take a further look at practicing on your own. Many people have said that short bursts of practice, five to 10 minutes a day, or a few times a week, or even once a week, has helped them get used to the sounds of their cochlear implant. Here, we see a Medel recipient listening to her smart tablet through her audio link. We also acknowledge that many of you live far from your cochlear implant center or are, well, just plain busy and are not able to get there on a weekly basis. Because of this, many people practice on their own and this is a very effective way to practice. Here are some free resources you can find online. Angel Sounds is a free online oral rehabilitation website with exercises designed to help you hear small differences in words. You can go to angelsound.tigerspeech.com to find angel sounds. You also have YouTube, where you can listen to English as a second language conversation activities or TED Talks, and you can watch social media videos and reels on platforms such as TikTok, Facebook, and or Instagram. You can also listen to audiobooks following along with the words. Begin with a simple book or book you know, you can use your public library. You can also try an app called WhisperSyn, and this app syncs with your Kindle book and provides audible narration. You can also talk and or think aloud when deciding what to have for dinner or anything you can think to talk about. These are all great ways to practice listening at no cost other than time. Another great self-practice resource for adults is Amplify. Amptify is a mobile and computer-based adult listening practice application. It was created and developed by leaders in the field of audiology and speech pathology. Here's a bit of what you can do. Play fun, interactive games, connect with a coach to keep you motivated, track your listening accomplishments, and virtually meet with others who are practicing like you.
In our experience, adult recipients often struggle to receive insurance support for listening therapy. Paying privately for speech therapy can also be very costly. With Amptify, a monthly subscription is regularly priced at $49.95, but as a here peer, your 20% discount will bring your monthly subscription price down to $39.95. If you're not sure, you can purchase a 14-day trial for just $1. Now let's talk about another way to practice listening, practicing with a partner. Practicing with a partner is great because many people report that the first things they understand are the people who are closest to them. This is because those voices are the most familiar. With your partner, you can take a listening walk and have your partner tell you what you're hearing. You can also listen to your partner read a set of sentences with varying lengths using everyday type phrases and sentences. For example, here, I'll see you later this afternoon. I have an appointment at four o'clock. Why are you so late? Your partner would say one randomly and you select the sentence that you hear. You can also follow along as your partner reads to you. The reader reads the text and you follow along looking at the text. The reader pauses at a word and then you identify the word they stopped on. You can also do sentence building activities where the reader reads the text and you listen along looking at the text. The reader adds more words and then you repeat the words added to the sentence. And here is a video yeah. example. I'm going to try one or two things that are more about Nigel speech. With the these exercises, the you'll just be using your listening and you might be using the words in front of you to support what you're hearing but you won't be lip reading. I'm going to start with some different sentences and they're all about the same topic. So they're all about time. So I want you to look down at the sentence, but don't look at me. Okay. okay. What time is it? My appointment is at 10.30. Did he leave on time? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix them up now. Okay. I'm going to say one of them randomly. Okay. And I want you to just work out which one I've said. Okay. okay. Yeah. See you soon. Oh, no looking at lips. Hmm? No looking at lips. I didn't look at her lips. <laughs> <laughs> How long will it take to get to Florida? I didn't even finish it. I know, I know, that was good, wasn't it? How can we replicate this at home and do a bit of it at home? I'm going to be pleased oh. to take it. <laughs> <laughs> it should have worked. Okay, very good. Do you want to try one? Yeah, sure. Yeah? Did he leave on time? My appointment is at 10.30. Excellent. Okay. So, I'll give you a pack of these to take yeah. home. Yeah. Um, and you can just work through them. Now, this is something called text tracking. And you're just going to track my voice as I okay. read the words. Every so often, I'm going to stop talking. So, I might go boiled, baked, roasted. And I'll stop. And you'll tell me. No, roasted, you've got to. Because roasted was the last word. Okay. Okay. Boiled, baked, roasted, or fried, the potato. After potato. Is a versatile vegetable. It also produces nutritious food. Food. Quicker and on less land than any other major crop. Crop. Some 
shoes from the shop. From the shop? Yeah, very good. <laughs> <laughs> now for volunteers at a primary school, he's probably used to this. It's a hard one to try. You've only been switched on for a short while. Are you reassuring, Gail? It's perfect. So, I'm going to give you all these to take home. Do these um, every day if you can, maybe just for a few minutes at a time, and just really focus on listening without looking at the other person. These exercises are just part of it. It's really the people you're with, the conversations you're going to be having this week that are going to be giving you lots of sound, different things to work with. The more people um, you're having face-to-face -face conversations with, I think the better. Okay. I think that was a really good start. There is a tips and tricks section you can go to for ideas to try at home with your partner. There's one on listening to maps, crossword puzzles, and all different kinds of topics with phrases and sentences you can try. We will provide you some of these in an upcoming email. As you get more confident and as soon as you can, listening every day in typical environments can give you just the practice you need. Let's talk briefly about how our parents on the call can practice with their babies and children. You can work with a professional, often referred to as a teacher of the deaf, speech language pathologist, or a certified auditory verbal therapist to learn strategies that help your child learn to listen, like using an excited voice while going through your daily routine, staying within earshot, during an activity such as book reading and or play opportunities with siblings and other children because children learn best through play. Children learn best through repetition. Because your child has daily routine is so important because this is where repetition is Hello and welcome to Rehab at Home from Medal. In this series, we will show you some simple activities you can do at home to help your child with their listening and speaking. Today, we're watching Matthew set the table for dinner, following instructions from his mum. Involving your child in household routines is a fantastic way to develop their vocabulary, language and listening skills during everyday activities. Let's see how it works. One, one, two, three. One, two, three, yeah, and plate. Did I ask for a big plate or a little plate? Little thing. Yeah, thank you. And one little plate. Shall we put one plate down for Mummy, one for Matthew, one for Ben, and one for Daddy? And shall we put the other plates back? Giving your child instructions through listening alone helps to strengthen their auditory skills. You could increase the length and complexity of your instructions to continue to extend your child's skills. Think about what other household routines you are already doing that you can include your child in by giving instructions. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the MedL blog to get all the latest rehab at home videos straight to your inbox.
can also find some very helpful articles and free activities on our website at www.medel.com. You click support, then rehabilitation, then rehabilitation downloads. Not to worry, we'll be sending you a couple examples in a follow-up email. We also have a professionals blog that we encourage you to subscribe to so you never miss any new and free rehabilitation resources. You will find them under the Rehabilitation tab, and we will send parents who have joined us one of our child-friendly lesson kits, and to the teens and adults online, we will send you an introductory adult rehabilitation kit. As you have seen, there are lots of free and affordable resources for you to try when practicing listening both online and through Medell. Now let's talk about learning tips and tricks. The goal of learning tips and tricks for both kids and adults is to help compensate in difficult learning situations. The idea is to decrease hearing related difficulties by improving the listening environment and where you can improve the environment to use strategies that help you compensate. Let's start by talking about improving the environment. Most of you are very aware of your listening environment, so you can think of this as a reminder. Communication partners and teachers in school can help with this too. Here you can see how the teacher has brought these two children together in a room where there is less noise with good lighting. They might also use an accessory such as the audio link or an FM system to help them hear better over ambient noise like the air conditioner. Now let's talk about using communication strategies. Communication strategies are simple things you can say in a friendly way while communicating with others to ensure you're understanding the message. You can inform people about your hearing loss or your child's hearing loss. You can explain what you need in any listening environment, such as please face me or let's move away from the music. You can also predict challenges you might face and plan ahead and then clarify what you think you hear others are saying. And let's talk more about clarifying. This is a great communication strategy to give yourself the opportunity to check what was said and gain more information in an assertive yet friendly way. It's okay to be assertive. You can ask them to elaborate on what you thought they said, like what do you mean by catch a flick? Or provide them a key word of what you did hear, like are you talking about a movie? Or maybe ask them to change their mode of delivery, like hmm, I might hear you better if you put more space between your words. You can ask them to rephrase what was said, simplify what was said, you can narrow down what you thought you heard. You can ask for specifics and maybe even clarify the topic. We hope this set of activities, which include making your audiology appointments, taking ownership of your device, practicing listening, and learning tips and tricks has given you some ideas on how you can get used to your device faster. Now, we might have some family members who are here to support you, and we have a few simple yet very effective strategies that you can use to help your loved one with a hearing loss. And these are to be aware of noise and distance, get their attention before speaking, indicate changes in topic, like I want to tell you about my weekend, and ensure that your face is clearly visible. The goal is to keep communication successful. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Please be sure to check your inboxes later this week for a follow-up email with some links to resources and tools for listening practice we shared with you today. As a reminder, you can contact customer service for any and all requests, including ordering parts and pieces, insurance support, and troubleshooting support via our audiology on-call department. Simply dial 1-888-633-3524 to receive the help you need.
To learn more about how to connect to the AudioLink, AudioKey 2 app, AudioStream, and even to learn about rehabilitation, please sign up and register for our additional Metal Monday modules to learn lots more. Here is the schedule. Activation basics will occur every Monday. You can learn about the audio link the first Monday of the month. Audio key the second Monday of the month. Audio stream the third Monday of the month. And rehabilitation the fourth Monday of the month. Visit www.medelevents.com to sign up today. As a reminder, our MedL team will be sending you an email with all the resources, links, videos, and information that we covered during today's module. You did it! Thank you all for attending MedL Mondays. If you'd like to stay on, we now have time for questions. Otherwise, you are free to go at your leisure. We look forward to seeing you at the other modules. As a reminder, please ensure that all of your patient registration forms have been completed and mailed back to MedL. Please also take a moment to register for HearPeers and don't forget to sign up for the remaining MedL Monday modules.